president-elect for the second time, Donald Trump, with a very epic walkout tonight at UFC, which we're going to cover, and we're going to cover just some of the characters that he's flanked by because the entourage he comes out with here is actually incredible. Just a who's who of political talent, of the political heavy hitters of the current day. So right here you can see this first image. We have Trump, uh, Dana White, Kid Rock, Elon Musk, their speaker Mike Johnson. In the back there you can see Eric Trump. We'll head forward a little bit. You can still see Donald Trump, Dana White. As they're entering here, I mean, the crowd is going crazy. He, Donald Trump will get these massive ovations. Uh, Joe Rogan is commenting commentating on this at the time. He would get these massive ovations even when he was not um, the president-elect yet. He was still just running for president. I mean, obviously a former president, but uh, throughout his UFC walkout, it seemed like he was getting more and more momentum, and now just total chaos. And the fact that he's coming in here with such A-list people is quite incredible. And I think that's actually a massive difference between Donald Trump, um, his campaign, and the Kamala campaign. The celebrities that supported Kamala were like Beyonce and Eminem. They can't give a economic speech or provide the reasons on a policy level <clears throat> to vote for Kamala. They, none of them really can. Maybe Mark Cuban was the only person doing it, and he really did, I think, mostly a poor job. Trump had celebrities like Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, even Dana White. Dana White can talk policy. It was, um, I think, a massive underrated advantage that the Trump quote-unquote surrogates were famous and they could talk policy. A massive, I think, advantage for him. Here's Jelly Roll. You can see a few other people as we walk out. Let's see what else we got. See Now, Trump, pretty interesting moment. He walked over and gave Joe Rogan a big hug probably thanking him maybe for his endorsement because Joe Rogan eventually did endorse Trump with after that podcast with Elon Musk. I believe Joe Rogan endorsed Trump the day before um, the election happened. It's kind of interesting because Joe Rogan later did say that he felt a little bit of pressure from Dana White because Joe Rogan felt he had already made his views known, even though I think the fact that Joe Rogan endorsed Trump was a huge positive move for Joe Rogan and that podcast. I personally... I'm sure I would not be alone in this. Would have found it very difficult to take him seriously moving forward because he talks about politics all the time if he did not just have the courage to support either candidate. Like, to be honest, even if he came out in support of Kamala, I would not have really understood why, but at least that's some skin in the game. I just really don't like when somebody, which I felt like Joe Rogan was doing to a large degree, fence sits, but then wants to have a strong opinion on politics. So... I mean, the fact he eventually supported Trump and endorsed Trump, I think, definitely gives him, at least in my eyes, um, he, he can talk politics all he wants now. Like, he eventually did did support Donald Trump. And if you can see, there's some other pictures here. Like, there's just so many celebrities in this mix. It's quite interesting to see. Like, here's Chris Pavlovsky, uh, the CEO of Rumble. That's Speaker Mike Johnson. I don't know if I've said him yet, but leader of the House. Sage Steele, who came out in support of Trump, did a few town halls with him and stuff like that. RFK Jr. here, massive deal. I, there was also Tulsi Gabbard. I saw in the background. I don't think I got a necessarily an image of that, but Tulsi and RFK, very interestingly, I think made a fantastic bet a few months ago, putting aside the fact they probably just ideologically agreed more with Donald Trump anyway. They both made such a smart move politically to hop on the Trump train because they kind of went from, I mean, I'd heard of them. They're famous people for sure, but right now they're basically A-list celebrities in the country and in the world. And just politically, I think they made such a strong move to go over to Trump. Maybe their supporters because of this helped Trump. Like I definitely think the RFK endorsement was a big deal, but now RFK gets to lead HHS, Health and Human Services. And Tulsi Gabbard is the director of national intelligence, I believe is the, uh, the correct term for that. But that's amazing. They, I think they made such a smart move. There's Taylor Lewan here, this tall dude with the mustache of busting with the boys. Um, there's another image, I don't know if I'm going to get to it, but of, uh, yeah, this, this guy actually in the black puffy coat here, that's Aiden Ross, who I think his podcast with Donald Trump or the, the stream they did on kick was actually a big deal. Cause Aiden, I think has a crowd of people. Sure. Some of his fans are literally too young to vote, but he has a huge audience as well from like maybe 18 to 25, maybe even a little bit older, 30, 35, stuff like that. And I think his audience, to a large degree, does not follow politics. So Trump went on 
with a lot of other podcasts, like people maybe like Joe Rogan, which obviously help, but a lot of Joe's audience is piped into politics. And that's not the case, I would bet, with Aiden's audience. They're more into just kind of goofing off on stream, video games, and kind of just whatever, just like being a young dude. And I think that stream with Aiden really helped, and it really just further drove the point that Trump was kind of the cool candidate to support in this election. So we'll move on. We'll see what else we got. Then they, they did like a tribute video. Um, you see there's Kid Rock. Uh, there's some of the people associated with the Nelk Full Send brand, I think, back here. But uh, they did like a tribute video and with uh, Trump and J.D. Vance talking. I don't think J.D. Vance was at this event. So here's Dan Bongino. Again, RFK Jr., Mike Johnson. I don't think... Yeah, as I said, I don't think J.D. Vance was there. I, I didn't see Vivek, but this was just a, who, a who's who of political talent of the Trump team. There were so many massive names just at this event, just in this like short little part of this event. You just I, It's incredible just to see so many A-list people all at once in one place. So anyway, with that said, I'll finish the video here, but let me know what you... That's a funny clip of Trump. I, I think I brought up Elon Musk. If I didn't bring up Elon Musk yet, that's crazy. But yeah, Elon Musk was there and Trump was seen later uh, sitting with Elon Musk right beside him watching uh, many of the fights. So anyway, with that said, I'll finish the video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.